everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into some cozy, earthy vibes as we transform my living room for fall. I'll be playing with some warm tones, natural elements, and tons of textures to create a space that feels both inviting and perfectly seasonal. From plush pillows to rustic wood accents, I'll walk you through every detail to inspire your own fall decorating. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfy, and let's start decorating. So I always like to start with a clean slate. Sometimes I take you along as I clean it prior to decorating, but this time around I decided just to start decorating and um, leaving the cleaning for some other time so i'm going to be adding this vase now this might be a familiar vase if you've been around because i've had it, used it many many times but i just gave it a facelift i will be sharing that video over on my diy channel and i'm going to pair it with the smaller vase which was another diy as well that was actually a glass vase uh, prior to the makeover and I'm going to be adding some of these floral picks that I have picked up uh, at Dollarama some came from this year and some came from a previous years I've had them for a while like these more of the reddish kind were I purchased maybe two three years ago and then the other ones came this year if you are located in uh, Ontario um, probably across Canada but I am in Ontario so I'm referring to that check Dollarama for any of your flor seasonal florals they tend to have really nice ones and a, a decent quality these were three dollars each so they're not like super cheap like Dollar Tree but you know for three dollars for a size that they come in you'd be paying at Michael's probably upwards of fifteen dollars and then for the smaller vase I am adding some of this hay now this did or wheat this did come from Michael's uh, just because it it is actual in its natural form versus if you pick them up at the dollar store they're usually plastic and I did have to add some filler to the bottom of the vase because I have cut these a while back so they're a little short so I just wanted to elevate them a little bit and I just love how these two together look they uh, they create that rustic cozy um feel that that's what they give me anyways um and i just love 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 the way they look and those vases are supposed to be the uh what is it what is it called the atelier store dupes yes that's i think that's what it's all i'm having a bit of a brain fart here so but i just love love the way they look right here and i'm going to pair it with a nice rustic looking pumpkin and these pumpkins actually if my memory serves me right came from a thrift store they were part of a wreath that i took apart because i loved the pumpkins and on the opposite side to continue with the height i'm going to pair uh, add these um, candlesticks from um, uh, home sense and another pumpkin And now we are moving on to my coffee table and let me tell you guys when I decorate it's not stage it's not like you can totally sometimes see my whole process of how I'm how I'm figuring out how to do this and then it, it, at the end it still doesn't turn out but I just kind of play around and try and figure out what I like uh, together there's no not a style i'm following not a 
a system or anything like that. It's pretty much putting objects together and if they feel right, I keep them. Sometimes they feel right when I decorate them, but then a couple days into living with this decor, it doesn't feel right, so I'll switch it around. So, And I think that's um, how everyone should decorate, <laughs> in my opinion. I think trying to keep up with trend, trends or you know, whatever somebody posted on Instagram, it can get quite expensive and uh, hard to keep up with. So I, I do love looking at different decors and maybe getting some inspirations. But usually I just uh, try and use up the things that I have. Um, I, I do a lot of thrifting, a lot of DIYing of my decor. And I think that's how I'm able to switch it for every season is because I do keep these costs down i mean would i love to uh, add new pieces all the time to my decor of course i i mean i went th through all those shop with me's and i absolutely loved so many pieces but all said and done um unless i'm taking something out i am not bringing anything in at this time so now I moved on to my side table and I added my diffuser here. Um, I've had this for several years now and I love using diffusers because I can turn them on and have them on throughout the day and I'm almost done switching out to completely soya based candles. Uh, with some essential oil scents and um, like I said I love just turning it on in the morning and have the scent fill the room for the rest of the day without worrying of forgetting to blow out a candle and also I do still use candles but for my everyday I do tend to lean into my diffusers as well as my melting pot. And with daycares I cannot have an open flame. I will burn the candles in the evenings or if I have company coming or if I cooked something really stinky um, to add just another layer of trying to get rid of the smell. Um, but uh, typically um, diffusers are my number one for sure and then I also do like to go in and use uh, the melting pots as well and currently um, for my fall season I have a an apple scent that I picked up at a local store so I did move the lamp from this side uh, of the room to the other side table just because I felt I needed some height in there but now I feel like I need some height in here so I'm not sure whether I'm going to switch this around uh, later or not but um, as I was playing around with my diffuser that stays here as well as adding some pumpkins I was really feeling like I needed some height as you can see it just feels like like I said it just feels like I need some high height I was actually laughing too because I saw my air conditioner working because it was so hot on this day as I'm decorating for fall so to add height I did add um, a vase with some just some dried up branch leaves um, and I thought this would uh, would have to work for now and it is working but might change later on and here's my lovely couch uh, and I'm just going to add the usual pillows that I always have on here but I'm going to also add a um, Thanksgiving pillow because as I mentioned I am located in Ontario Canada and our Thanksgiving is in mid-October so I usually decorate for fall now and it lasts me till mid-October and then right after Thanksgiving I'll I switch some decor out that says Thanksgiving and add more Halloween stuff just for a couple weeks especially now since the daycare kids are back um, they always get such a kick out of the Halloween decor so I make sure that I have you know stuff um, for them to look at not to touch but just to look at and they enjoy all of my seasonal decor uh, especially the three-year-olds. So, and here it is. And no, that is not a bear rug on the floor. That is Duke, who is always part of all of my decorating videos. Uh, Frank sometimes makes an appearance, but Duke is almost a permanent fixture. 
I do love how simple this looks. I think it gives you the fall vibes without overdoing it. And let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to finish my video here. I'm going to let you enjoy the tour of the room. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.